I was literally running around the house like a mad woman thinking I am going to be late for the event and then I realized the event started just like 15 or 20 minutes ago and I am going to be on time I don't know why I always get like so stressed before actually going somewhere and this was definitely the case today good thing is that it's only like 5 20 the event goes from 5 until 7 so I'm gonna be fine it'll take me around 30 minutes to get there so I'll be there by 6 still a whole hour of the event to go everything is good in the world maybe anyways hi hello welcome if you're new here my name is Laura I'm a lifestyle content creator based in New York City and this is going to be a vlog of a few days in my life subscribe if you're new here hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can get notified of every time I upload a new video so it's the first week of October and I was so excited thinking okay it's finally fall time to get the blazers the jeans the pants the layers the boots and now it's so hot again now it's 27 degrees which is like the high 80s which is hot which is hot for october 3rd which by the way like happy mean girls day on october 3rd he asked me what day it was it's october 3rd but yeah we're like working with that so today i have three events on the agenda and it's kind of funny because i feel like these three events represent like three different like parts of my content and part of what i do here online first of all i have an event with the brand lalo they do great products for babies for kids we have the lalo high chair the lalo play mat julia loves those products and now they're coming out with a new subscription for a box of toys according to your baby's age so excited to hear about that then after that i have an event with abercrombie i've never been to one of their events so excited about that they're launching a new collection and after that the moma yes the moma the modern museum of art here in new york invited me to an event i was like wait what me an event why how <laughs> super excited so they're having new exhibition coming up i think next week or the week after and they're doing a press preview today so we are going to be able to see the exhibition I think before basically anyone else because I know the museum members have their preview days like in two or three days so I think only the artist and the MoMA employees have seen this I'm just kidding <laughs> you you get the idea so I'm really excited about what that day has planned for me for us for the blog for me to take you along with me and that I'm going to be on time and everything's good in the world I can inhale and exhale you should do that as well at home <laughs> when you're watching this relax for a bit and stop running for a bit and now we are gonna get going so let's get the music the intro and some beautiful shots of new york city let's go terrible things started happening when you walked away so that's why i stay right here because when all of my dreams seem so out of reach your crystal clear you don't disappear baby no so why would i
wants to hold me like you do You're so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. I'm finishing up getting ready for tonight's events. I have two events, one with the shoe brand Vivaya that I've mentioned a couple of times on my YouTube channel before, and the other one with Google for the launch of their new phones that came out yesterday. But before doing so, and yes, another day, another headband. I have like over 30 headbands. So you can see lots of them and there's probably gonna be even more. What I meant to say is that before heading out, I wanted to talk a bit about the three events that I went on Tuesday because I think the three of them were special for different reasons and I consider them special. If you are an influencer, if you're a content creator, if you're just getting started, maybe this is advice that might work for you, that might help you. I turned off the IC because I feel like even if it's far, you might be able to hear it on the background and it might annoy me. So the first event I went to was with Lalo and what I think was great about this event is that I was actually able to meet with the people behind the brand. So I've been emailing this woman for almost a year now. She's been the person I've contacted for every gifting collaboration, for every product Lalo has sent me and Julia. And actually being able to put a face to a name was amazing and I feel like it was probably the same for her for every person that she met that night. And this is important. I always say that if you want to work with brands in the end there's people behind those brands and those people are the ones that you have to make connections with so if there's an event and if you have the opportunity to meet someone behind the brand and actually make an impression talk about the products talk about what you like about the brand make yourself memorable in a way and make a connection you should totally do that so that's like the first lesson in a way from the first event that I attended the second event that I attended the one with Aberdeen Crombie, I feel like the lesson behind that event was to be social. I knew a lot of people at the event. I said hi to a lot of people. I talked to a lot of people. And I feel like in our industry, in my line of work, being out there, being social is important. It might sound weird, but it's the truth. So I feel like being seen by other influencers, being at these events with other people might help you in a way. You never know if that colleague that you say hi to at an event might invite you to a different event, might be able to pass on a contact for a brand. So even if it's sometimes tiring or you don't really want to go to an event, actually taking the time and the effort might give you rewards in the future. And the third event and the third lesson is to get out of your comfort zone. When I first got the event from the MoMA where we would be able to see the Picasso exhibition before it actually opened to the public, I was super excited but at the same time time my imposter syndrome came like creeping in and I felt like maybe it was like not my place and being there and seeing the fancy people and fancy spots and everything it definitely felt like I was in an episode of Gossip Girl or something like that it was definitely something out of my comfort zone I never go to events at museums even though I would love to if you work at a museum and you're watching this hi <laughs> send me an email but yeah it was an opportunity to do something different to actually be in a different environment that is something that usually inspires you that is something that usually puts you in an uncomfortable position and from those positions is where you grow where you evolve and where you change so those are like my three lessons from this three events so anyways I am now ready makeup is done hair is done it's drying headband I have this blue dress that I wore for a day of fashion week I am a person that wears and rewears their clothes you're gonna be seeing me wear the same clothes many many times and I still need the shoes um, I am going to go with this pair I've worn it before 
I wore to the movies when I went to see the Barbie movie. These shoes are from Ibaya, which is the brand that's hosting one of the events tonight. And I think that they go well with this dress. When I wore it the first time, I wore higher heels and they were nice, but definitely not great to be walking around town. And these ones are a lot more comfortable. So I'm going to wear this ones for tonight's event. So that is it. We are ready and now it's time to leave. And I always say, and I think I haven't said this on this vlog, you're coming with me. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. To you. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you. With you. I feel so lucky I met you. And I still. I can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky. And I feel so lucky I met you. Spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby. And all these broken roses led to you. So lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel so lucky I met you. Take a look out the window. Spirit goes up as it rain falls down. I've been sitting on the wrong course. Keep it together like I did before Think that I said this a few times Even with that, has it ever felt right? I swear that this has happened every moment Can I just be honest? I was only wondering And maybe we could take it to a different conversation Things will get uncomfortable But only if we make it I just want to say that But you'd rather take it all Just to give me space Cause I wanna believe that Ooh, I get lost You go with your day Slowly get closer But you're moving away I know it's just a recap but I'm sure you'll never see that. So today is the day I discovered that I am not good at mini golf. <laughs> oh my God, I thought that was going to be easy because I've done like this baseball cages before and I don't know why I thought like, okay, it's a stick and a ball. It was not the same. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. I'm in the middle of Herald Square, so it's kind of crazy and noisy and lots of people over here. But I hope you like this vlog. I hope you like the five events that I got to show you on this vlog. Actually, the light here is <laughs> really good and I hope you like the three lessons that I shared as well and how I think they can help you out if you're getting started on the influencer industry <laughs> or they can help you out in life in general if you're new and you're not subscribed already hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell so you can get notified of every time I upload a new video and I will see you on the next one that is it Bye. Think that it's going a little too far even after all